Hello, everyone, and welcome to our online presentation of the University of Ljubljana. My name is Liljana, and together with my colleagues, we will present to you today the possibilities of studying at our university, the application and admission procedure, and some of our members will also present themselves to you today. During the presentation, you can ask questions related to the study enrollment, which will be answered by our admission office, as well as other colleagues. Uh, and of course, as we already said, you will also have the opportunity to ask some specific question related to the uh, faculty you want to enroll in in breakout rooms after the presentations. Uh, so uh, during the presentation, feel free to ask us question in the chat. Uh, and some specific question uh, you can ask the faculty uh, after in the present in the breakout room. Uh, after the presentation, we will stay in the main room for some general questions. Our schedule for today is, as you already had the opportunity to see during registration, the following. So we will start with the general presentation of the University of Ljubljana, where our international student Christian Popovsky will also introduce himself to us and tell about his experience as an international student. After that, we will explain enrollment and admission procedure and continue with the presentations of our members. After each member's presentation, you will have the option to join the breakout room of the faculty. Uh, so if you missed the yesterday's presentation, do not worry, we will publish the video of the presentation and also share it with you. Of course, the presentation today will be filmed, published and shared with you as well. On presentation, you can find detailed explanation on how to join our breakout rooms. You can, of course, join as much breakout rooms as you want. And if you have any problem, you can always click on ask for help and we will assist you. The name of the breakout room will be the name of the faculty. So uh, there are currently no breakout rooms uh, open, but they will be opened after the first presentation. So please join only breakout room of the faculty who already presented. Uh, please do not join the breakout room of the member that has not already presented themselves. So we hope that everything about these technical details is clear and that we can start with our presentation. So Slovenia is a relatively small and young country. It is a very safe country and a country that is in the intersection of various cultures, languages and heritage. It occupies an exceptional position at the meeting point uh, of the Alps and the Mediterranean. So country diversity and size allows us to hike in the mountains and swim in the sea in just one day. During your studies, take time to discover this beautiful green country that has so much to offer and because of all possibilities it offers, you will certainly not be bored. Our university is located in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, which is a very pleasant and beautiful city to live in. Our university itself was founded in 1919, and to date it has 23 faculties and three art academies covering all fields of study. This central building that you can see on the screen, all three academies and some faculties are located in the very city center. Some of the most recent and modern buildings were constructed on the outskirts of Ljubljana, and Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport is located in Portoroz by the sea. Three art academies offer degree programs in the fields of music, fine arts, design, theater, radio, film, and television. The field of natural science, technology, and engineering comprises 10 faculties offering unique programs that prepare students for careers in these high growth areas. Students can also study in one of eight faculties in the field of humanities and social sciences. And we also welcome prospective students who are interested in medicine, health science, and sports. Each year, around 40,000 students increase and develop their knowledge and skills at our institution, including 9% of international students from more than 100 countries. We are also very proud to have been ranked among the top 9% in the world of universities in the category of ratio between offered high quality education and affordability to international students. Around three quarters of all international students come from the Western Balkan region, mainly as you can see from North Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Croatia and Montenegro. One of the University of Ljubljana's strategic orientation is definitely cooperation with the Western Balkans region. And through research, teaching and study activities, we also strive to connect and maintain contact with Slovenians living abroad. 
As our students, you will have many possibilities for practical work, exchange, and internship. You're also welcome to attend summer school courses, concerts, exhibitions, and performances organized by our academies and faculties. You will also have a, a very good access to library resources and services, and with various support activities, we will provide you support and integrating into your studies and life in Slovenia. We have accredited more than 400 degree programs and more than 800 subjects in English. The University of Ljubljana has more than 30% of all registered researchers in Slovenia. A special concern of the University of Ljubljana is the transfer of knowledge to the economy, which is why we work closely with many Slovenian as well as foreign companies. As our students, you will have the opportunity to participate in various projects and activities. In cooperation with foreign universities, we also conduct interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary studies, and we also encourage open international exchanges for students and staff. The University of Ljubljana is also part of Association Utopia, which includes nine other universities from Europe. Utopia also aims to promote the mobility of students and staff through new ways of joint teaching and learning and cross-border cooperation. We warmly recommend you to regularly check our website Study Ulla, where you can find many useful information about study, exchange opportunities, extracurricular and other activities, and also carefully read the welcome guide where you can find gather detailed information about your arrival to Slovenia and studying at our university. You're also welcome to join us at the virtual fair of education Nakoitesh Fax and visit our virtual booths where all the University of Ljubljana members are represented. We also invite you to join us at the uh, other online presentations that we organize. On March 1st, together with admis admission office, uh, we are organizing a Q&A session where all undergraduate students will be able to get answers to questions about the admission process. We also invite you to the presentation of the opportunities for enrolling in master's and doctoral studies on April 10th, starting at 2 p.m. Uh, so more information about these events and also registration links can be found on the web page. Uh, you can see it on the screen. It's information days. Before coming to Slovenia or abroad in general, it is very important to get first-hand information about what it's like to be an international student. So that is why we are very proud to uh, present to you our video series with international students about which aims to present studying in Slovenia and at the University of Ljubljana. Uh, in this series, our international student ambassadors answers various questions, including why they decided to study in Slovenia and at the University of Ljubljana, uh, what it's like to study here, uh, have they encountered any challenges, uh, what are uh, the advantages of studying, and much, much more. So uh, check our YouTube channel uh, and uh, see our videos. Also, uh, I wanted to present you chat with international students where you will be able to find the contacts of 15 international student ambassadors who come from different countries and studied uh, study at different University of Ljubljana faculties and academies. Uh, and you can contact them and ask anything you're interested in regarding studies in Slovenia and Ljubljana. Uh, so after uh, this uh, part of presentation, as I already said, um, uh, our student ambassador Christian will also um, uh, present uh, his experience as an international student ambassador and his international student. And now, uh, uh, Christian, uh, here you go. You, it's your part. <laughs> Thank you, Liliana, for introducing me. Uh, hi, everyone. I can see that we have a large large number of prospective students. Uh, my name is Christian, as you already can see and know. And I study at the School of Economics and Business uh, for two and a half years already. I'm enrolled in the entrepreneur entrepreneurship program. Um, I, I have a lot of things that I would like to share with you. But in shortly, uh, I would say, st for starters, why I decided to study at the University of Ljubljana. Um, probably as many of you um, would agree with me, um, you always and I always wanted to learn more, to do more, and um, I always knew that I would like to study abroad, but I didn't know where. 
And um, after some researching, I um, saw that the University of Ljubljana provides uh, great learning and also growth experience. And for a lot of students, it helps them develop uh, their academic career as well as their career. Um, and most of you and also myself uh, welcome challenge and we would like to go to an environment where we could do exactly that uh, to be responsible for our own future as well as to fulfill um, our potential and just to uh, develop in better persons uh, for our future and um, before I start before I started to plan um, I had a lot of questions that I didn't know how to answer them. And uh, I started planning how to get here, how to study abroad, what I have to do before I go uh, to study abroad. And I checked all of the information, education fairs. Uh, I explored the YouTube uh, videos that are available, how it is to study abroad, um, what it means to be an international student. And after all these questions uh, and answers, I decided to come to the university and two and a half years later, I think I'm happy with my decision. But at the beginning, um, I had a lot of questions about um, admissions. Uh, what do I have to do and how, how can I apply not to make a mistake? And in my experience, I had a friend that already studied in Slovenia and uh, a friend that um, already knew the process. But for those students that don't have anybody that a friend or some relative that is here, I recommend um, contacting the international students ambassadors where we can chat, email, discuss, maybe also uh, have a Zoom link and uh, go through the process so that you don't have to go alone because I, don't, I know that you uh, have a lot of questions right now and you're, you don't want to make a mistake. After I finish with my uh, accommodation, uh, with my uh, application, I started searching for accommodation because I know uh, I knew that there could be a big problem um, not having a room to stay, but also it's important. it was important for me to have the right roommate as well as to know the landlord and the place where I'm staying and to know the prices. So I advise you, uh, if you're planning to come here, start searching for a place to stay even in June or July because it would be easier for you to find it earlier than to wait until the until September and maybe even pay higher prices. Uh, when I come here in Slovenia, uh, everything was new, but the first barrier, let's say, uh, it was the language for me because I come from a country where it's the language is similar, but still it's a bit different. And uh, I tried to speak the language, but it was harder. And what I did, I talked with my Slovenian friends and I, I remember telling them, uh, don't you speak don't don't speak to me in English. Uh, if you want to talk to me, please speak in Slovenian. And I try to exercise the language as much as I can and also study it in the language, study the Slovenian, read the books, watch the videos and so on. That And everything helped me uh, after a few months to know the language. But also there is something you've probably heard of or you will heard of uh, here about the program Year Plus year plus, which is a program where you can study the language as an additional subject. You will meet a lot of international friends, uh, people that are in the same environment and situation as you are right now. And um, when you come here in Slovenia, basically it starts from September. So uh, check it out and apply because there are um, a limited number of slots available. After coming here, uh, the biggest issue, let's say, because probably uh, you have a lot of questions and one of them is what is how it is to be a student, how it is to live. Uh, for me, um, I needed to find a balance between my studies and also my student life and how to uh, have some balance between them. Uh, everything was new, everything was... Um, exciting fun at the beginning but also uh, confusing because you come uh, you have a transition between the high school and also to the faculty so um, you don't have to be worried about that it's a process and it's a nice one for me it's maybe the best time of my studies here uh, the first few months maybe a year and um, if you have any questions the international students ambassadors and all the offices everybody will answer everything so uh, those questions will arise but you will answer them when it when the time comes um, and uh, having my classes and lecture and extracurricular activities uh, shortly i can say that i like where i study or the school of economics and business because we have great lecturers people that study it and also lecture students from 
let's say in, uh, in America or different universities in Europe. We have great facilities here with a lot of equipment that you can use for practical lab laboratories and so on exercises and a lot of practical examples which you combine with the theory you study. So we have laboratories, we do research and also seminar papers and you learn through the process. You don't have to learn everything by heart, but you can also try it and see how it goes in, in, in the real life. And um, about the extracurricular activities for those students that are interested, you have a lot of things happening in Ljubljana as well as the whole Slovenia and a lot of organizations that will help you um, do something for fun or go uh, on educational workshops as well as cultural events or parties if you want to party. So um, there is something for everybody. Um, and if you have any questions, as Liliana mentioned, um, I would happily answer everything um, at the at the end of the um, presentation or maybe in the chat. And if you want to contact me directly or any of the other international science ambassadors, you can do that uh, on our web page. I will send you the link in the chat. And uh, I wish you best of luck with your upcoming um, admission process. And um, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. So that's from me. Christian, thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. And now I will follow up uh, on your story about the application process and explain to all of you how this process looks like. So when it comes to application, you must submit an online application in English or Slovenian with your username and password. And it's very important that you save this information, this username and password, as it will allow you to access the Evosho web portal and follow up uh, the application and admission process. On the Evosho website, you can find more detailed information as well as video tutorials that will guide you step by step through filling out the application form. And I also invite you to watch our video on the YouTube channel about the university application process. There you will find many useful uh, information such as enrollment requirements, application deadlines, and more. Also, a uh, call for enrollment is published on uh, this website as well as our website. So there you can check everything you want to know about studying at University of Ljubljana, like study programs, enrollment slots, as well as application periods. So when it comes to application periods, uh, be aware of the different deadlines. You can apply during several application periods. So the deadline depends on your citizenship. So if you're a citizen of an EU member state or Slovenian without Slovenian citizenship, you can apply in the first application period from 20 to February to 20 to March. And in the second application period from 21st to 27th of August. Here you can see uh, who can apply in the second application period. Also, candidates from EU member states and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship can apply in the application period for still available enrollment slots. That will be from uh, 25 and 26 of September until 10 a.m. When it comes to citizens from non-EU countries, you can apply also from 20th of February, but until 19th of April in the first application period, and on 3rd and 4th of September in the second application period. Here on screen, you can also see uh, which candidates can apply in the second application period. And it's also very important to mention that citizens from EU countries and citizens from countries with which Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreements do not have to pay tuition fees for full-time bachelor and master studies. Uh, Slovenia has concluded bilateral agreements with Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, North, North Macedonia, Serbia, and Kosovo. So you can find more information about fees uh, on our web page. In the first application period, you may indicate a maximum of three bachelor's or single cycle, ma cycle master degree programs in order of preference for which you wish to enroll. In uh, order in which the degree programs are indicated, it's very important because uh, in the selection process, you will be admitted to the first degree program for which you met all the re requirements and achieved the minimum number of points in the case of limited enrollment. Uh, we, uh, as we already said, we have accredited more than 400 degree programs and more than 800 subjects in English. And the majority of courses are conducted in Slovenian, but we also have some programs in English. And you can see um, lectures in English are held at the School of Economics and Business. More information about that uh, you can find on our webpage. 
Recognition of education is required for applicants with a foreign education certificate who wish to continue their studies in Slovenia. But the online application is also an application for the procedure of recognition of foreign secondary education. So all documents must be uploaded on the uh, web portal EVASH as electronic copies or scans of the originals. Uh, those documents have to be attached through the EVASH web portal scans or photographies of the original certificates and other documents. As I said, uh, it is also important to know that the certificate of graduation diploma is not required at the time of application, but you, you should submit it as soon as you graduate. So uh, you should apply as soon as possible. And if you haven't uh, finished high school yet, you should send your diploma by 1st August. Also, candidates send uh, translations only on the request received on the uh, web portal Evasha and you will receive all notifications electronically through the Evasha web portal. So it is important that you check your email regularly. So let's see what documents you need to upload to the Evasha web portal. So scan of the final certificates, graduation diploma, and certificates of the last two years of high school. And again, if you have not finished uh, high school yet, send this, this certificates and the uh, graduation diploma uh, uh, by 1st August. Uh, also, you need to send e-copy or scan of uh, certificated translation of the final certificates into Slovene of English language. If a certified translation of the certificates is required, the applicants will be asked uh, for it uh, on the web, uh, web portal Evasha. You also must upload short chronological description of the entire education relevant to the enrollment application and recognition procedure. Um, it needs to be prepared by yourself, stating prior education, including the school's attendance, days of attendance, possible transfers, um, select uh, uh, accelerated progress, and so on. On our website, you can find example of it. And you also need to upload your um, ID or pass, uh, scan of your ID or passport. Uh, students from non-EU countries can only upload uh, a scan of a passport. And if you need any additional uh, evidence, the enrollment service of the University of Ljubljana will inform you about it. Uh, when it comes to uh, deadlines for sending the documents, again, for the citizens of EU member states and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship, the first application period for sending documents is uh, by August 1st for applicants completing secondary school this year. And those who already finished high school, uh, it's to the end of the first application period. For you, that's 20th of March. And if you apply in the second application period, then you need to send your documents by 27th of August. And if you apply in the period for still available enrollment slots, then to the 26th of September. When it comes to non-EU students, the same conditions apply. So for uh, applicants completing secondary school uh, this year, you need to send uh, documents by 1st August. And those who already finished high school by the end of the first application period, that's 19th of April. And if you're applying the second application period, then you need to send your documents by 4th of September. When it comes to Slovenian language certificates, for all candidates, it must be sent until the 1st of August. About decision and recognition, you will be informed on the Evosha web portal as well. If the degree program has limited enrollment, candidates will be selected based on the criteria published in the School for Enrollment. Uh, your grades also need to be converted into the Slovenian grading system and grading skills are published at our website as well as call for enrollment. If your program requires knowledge of the Slovenian language at the B2 level, as already mentioned, the certificate of no uh, language knowledge must be sent by August 1st. What is important is that certificates from Slovenia are recognized, but also from abroad, so uh, that you can pass and get this certificate in your country without any problem. Here you can see which programs uh, on bachelor level, level require Slovenian language uh, exam or certificate. Also, for enrolling in some programs, it is required to pass a uh, test of ability, capacity, and skills. And here you can see at which faculties and academies it is necessary. But please, for additional information about courses and content of the test, please ask the faculties or academies. 
uh, and dates are also published on the Evosho web portal as well as our web page. If you're accepted, you will be invited to enroll by the faculty or academy via email, and enrollment usually takes place in September. Uh, and decision on results in the first application period for EU students and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship will be by 21st of July and at the latest by 20th of September. When it comes to non-EU students, it will be by the 31st of August. Uh, we recommend that you check our website well before the application deadline and check all the information on the offered degree programs, the application procedure and enrollment requirements, the number of available, available enrollment slots, fees and more. Also to help you with your application, uh, we organize online counseling about the application and admission procedure for undergraduate studies. And you can always uh, contact us by email or phone at any time. Our admission office also have info points. So if you have any questions, please visit us or call. It is also very important to mention that you do not need any service of recruitment agencies and agents for application because it's very easy. If you need any advice or help, you can contact us or arrange an online consultation, as I said, and we will do our, our best uh, to provide you with all the information and answers to any questions you may have. So now uh, we have come to the part where our members will be introduced to us. Uh, once again, uh, this is today's schedule of presentations. Uh, as I said at the beginning, after each presentation, a breakout room will open with the name of the faculty of, uh, or, uh, who presented. And if you're interested in something more about that member, you can enter and find out, uh, ask whatever interests you. Uh, on presentation, you can find detailed explanation on how to join our breakout rooms. Uh, you can, of course, join as much breakout rooms as you want. And if you have uh, any problem, you can always click on ask for help or write in the chat and we will assist you. So uh, thank you so much for your attention. Now uh, I will ask Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering to share their screen with us. The Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering consists of four departments, the Department of Geology, Department of Geotechnology, Mining and Environment, the Department of Materials and Metallurgy, and the Department of Textiles, Graphic uh, Arts and Design. At these departments, the study of individual disciplines is offered on all degree levels. Fields of study include graphic and media communications, textiles, fashion design, materials and metallurgy, geology, geotechnology, <laughs> mining, and the environment. With us today is Alinka Shaila Lach. Once again, welcome to the presentation of the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. Um, maybe I will do just one more thing. I will stop sharing my video of myself uh, because of the better connection. So I hope that this is okay with you. So okay. yeah, once again, uh, my name is Alinka Shalila and I work in international office as a coordinator at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering at the University of Ljubljana. So today I will represent to you our very diverse faculty as already Liliana presented us. And um, so, we are kind of unique within the University of Ljubljana as we work in the field of natural sciences, engineering and arts. So, but despite of the diversity of our study programs, the materials are common to all of them as we deal with the processing of almost all types of raw materials. So at our faculty, we have six different study programs, uh, which I will introduce in this presentation. So, but first I will represent you which levels of study do we have? So uh, our I will begin with the uh, first uh, uh, level. Uh, we have uh, two first level uh, study programs, higher professional programs and university programs. All, all programs last three years and have 180 ECTS. So, you can enroll in higher professional program in geotechnology and mining, metallurgical technology, textile and clothing engineering, and graphic and media technology. 
Uh, the university program uh, has all the study programs, so you can enroll in geology, geotechnology and environment, materials engineering, textile and clothing planning, textile and clothing design, and graphic and interactive communication. So, and when you finish a bachelor degree, you can continue your studying for a master degree. The master degree lasts two years and it has 120 ECTS. Uh, we have a master degree on all uh, study programs. So you can enroll in geology, geotechnology, materials and metallurgy, textile and clothing planning, textile and fashion design, and graphic and interactive communication. And after masters, of course, you can continue your study on the PhD programs. We have three different PhD programs, and uh, these are built environment, geology, material science and engineering, and textile engineering, graphic communication, and textile design. The doctorate degree study program lasts four years and you collect uh, 240 ECTS. So, we have some limitations regarding the number of students enrolled into the program. So, the minimum number of students for a bachelor degree uh, are 15, at least 15 candidates for geology and materials engineering. And for master's degree, for materials and metallurgy, at least 10 candidates. And for geology, geotechnology, mining and environment, and textile and clothing planning, at least five candidates. Why study on our faculty? So during studying at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering, Students are involved in various research projects. We have a lot of field and laboratory work. We have very good collaboration with the companies. Students are working in small groups. We have personal approach to students, possibility of international study mobility, and also the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering holds the Certificate of Athletes Friendly Education which was awarded by the Olympic Committee of Slovenia for the promotion of activities in the field of dual career of athletes. So now I will present you all six study programs. And first I will introduce you to the study program of geology and the remaining study programs will follow. So, Geology is one of the basic natural sciences investigating the planet Earth, also called Earth science. Geology is the study of structure, evolution, and dynamics of the Earth and its natural, mineral, and energy resources. Students obtain knowledge that can work on various fields connected with geology, such as mineralogy, petrology, sedimentology, geological mapping, structural geology and tectonics, paleontology, environmental geology, geochemistry, geomorphology, cursed geology, volcanology, geology of mineral deposits, technical mineralogy, hydrology, engineering geology, geography, geography and seismology. So we are the only institute offering the study of geology in Slovenia. And our special futures are working, that students are working with microscope, they're working in special computer rooms. They have, we have, they have a lot of laboratory work, a lot of field work. Uh, we have completely renovated facilities, uh, laboratories with state art of equipment, collections of minerals, rocks, fossils, various microscopes, various analytical equipment, all major ge uh, geological software, working st station for demanding, 3D geological modeling, drone, and so on. So do you know that rubies and sapphires are rarer than diamonds? And do you know that the first geologist to set his foot on the moon was Harrison Schmidt, a PhD who was a part of the Apollo 17 mission? 
So if you find these questions interesting, the study of geology is a good choice for you. So join us at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. So now I will represent you the study program of geotechnology, mining, and environment. So the geotechnology and environmental engineering study programs are natural sciences and engineering programs that prepares future graduates for work involving underground constructions, environmental engineering, and obtaining mineral resources. So it is very important to investigate the soil in detail for structure foundation. Only after that we can design good foundation for every structure. With drilling, we want to get the energy of mineral resources from the earth crust. There are huge potentials in geothermal resources, so geothermal energy will play an important role in the future. And of course, the environment is a key topic in the 21st century. In the study process, students meet with the technologies that can contribute to the conservation of clean environment. During their studies, students perform industry placement training that gives them the opportunity to get acquainted with work processes and use their theor theoretical knowledge and practical solutions. So in general, study of geotechnology deals with construction or, of underground structures, foundations of structures, drilling, mineral, mineral resources, which are extracted in underground or surface mines. Currently, the most wanted element to extract all over the world is, of course, lithium, due to the future of electric mobility. And why study geotechnology mining and environment? So are you interested in how roads or rail tunnels and other underground structures are made? Or are you interested in how waste from household and industry are safely deposited? or how a bear hole is drilled, why and how the oil, natural gas, or geothermal water for heating or bathing comes out, or how mineral resources are found and how they can be made useful. And do you know that the world's deepest bear hole so far measures 12 kilometers in depth, and that the Earth's surface is becoming very laden because of the human everyday activities? Well, this is environmentally and sustainably completely unacceptable. And some activities need to be moved underground. On the other hand, the humankind has proven with the moon landing that we can reach hundreds of thousand kilometers above the Earth's surface. Therefore, lowering below the surface of the Earth for a few 10 kilometers is far more difficult job to do. If you would like to find out more about these topics, you're welcome to enroll at the study program of geotechnology, mining and environment. So one of the six study programs of the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering is also a pro program of materials and metallurgy. Fields such as home appliances, transportation and automotive industry, energy, construction, food industry, medicine, military, marine and aerospace industries. They all have to do with materials and metallurgy. And in all these fields, you can find a job at home or abroad after graduation. Graduates learn the skills required for modeling the properties of materials, simulating and optimizing technologies. The study combines interdisciplinary fields of materials and complementary science for the understanding, designing and manufacture of existing and newly developed materials or technological processes. Graduates from the Department of Materials and Metallurgy acquire a wide range of useful knowledge and skills which can which we, when we can divide into the following groups. 
So the basic of understanding and researching the composition and properties of materials, the development of new material, materials and their production technologies, and the use of synthesizes of materials and engineering and research into a, into a material and the analysis of its damage. Graduates learn the skills required for modeling the properties of materials and simulating and optimizing technologies. So in today's information, information age, communication with the most remote parts of our planet is possible thanks to new materials developed for communications. The Department of Materials and Metallurgy initiated the establishment of the Space Center, which launched the first Slovenian satellite into space in 2020. In addition to the satellite control room, which is certainly a special future, we have modern and equipped laboratories where laboratory work is carried out in small groups, only up to 10 students. Students can work on applied research projects during their studies. There are many field trips to different companies all over the Europe. And our students achieve top results in worldwide competitions in the field of metallurgy and materials. At the last World Steel Association, Students' Competition Steel Challenge, our students became world champions in steel making. The Department of Materials and Metallurgy is also very proud of the exhibition The Song of Metal, which is now on display in the department premises. And do you know that gold does not corrode and is therefore a suitable metal for jewelry? And that its historical period, periods of humanity are named after the dominant material of the time, such as stone, copper, bronze, iron. So if you're interested in similar questions, think about the study program of materials and metallurgy and enroll to the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. Textile study program is also one of the study programs at our faculty. The study is interdisciplinary, combining textile and apparel engineering with science and textile design. A textile engineer develops new materials, improves the properties of existing materials, and ensures that they meet environmental regulations and protect the environment. Activities at the textile and clothing engineering are performed in different fields of textiles and include conventional and new textile materials, advanced mechanical and chemical textile processes, planning of textile and clothing technologies, construction of textile and clothes, textile care, textile testing, and quality control and ecology in textiles. The basic goal of the study programs at the Department of Textiles is to train experts capable of managing the most technologically demanding processes in the textile and clothing industry, to train them in planning complex products and technological processes and at the same time provide appropriate basic natural science and professional knowledge for further education at the second level. The textile engineer works in many fields, automotive, aerospace, construct construction and architecture, agriculture, medicine and fashion. Technically advanced and advanced te textiles are used by firefighters, soldiers, and others who work in extreme conditions. They're made of non-flammable and bulletproof materials. Textile engineers conduct research in the field of mechanical and chemical functionalization of textile materials. For example, water repellent, fire redundant, and antibacterial properties can be added to ordinary cotton fabric. The fusion of textile and electronics is reflected in electronic textiles. The advantage, the advantage of textiles is that they are flexible, soft, and adaptable in shape. So do you know that there are smart textiles which respond to the changes in the environment? 
for example, that the textile changes its shape when the temperature changes, or that the textile industry is one of the largest world industry. So if you're interested in those kind of questions, join us and enroll in the textile studies at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. So now we will go to the study program of graphic arts. So the basic goal of the study programs at the graphic arts is to educate professionals who will be able to manage the most demanding technological processes in graphics and in media, as well as the field of interactive communication. At the same time, the purpose of the study is also to offer graduates the relevant fundamental natural science knowledge and expertise to continue their education at the second level. In addition to knowledge in the field of graphic, media, and inter interactive communication, graduates develop scientific approach abilities through selected skills in mathematics, physics, and chemistry. The basic goal of the study programs at the graphic arts is to educate professionals who will be able to manage the most demanding technological processes in graphics and media, as well as the field of interactive communication. One of main topics of the study are graphic materials. Paper is important and cardboards. If you don't use the right material, the colors won't stick. Colors are important. Some are more, other less pleasant. And did you know that we often know brands just by their colors? For example, can you imagine Coca-Cola being purple or Milka red? Of course not. Well, also printing isn't 2D anymore. 3D printing is more and more popular and I'm sure you already know quite a bit about it. A face can be still shown in 2D in the form of photography. We have an amazing photography studio with professional lighting. Photography is not just Instagram. It can be more, far more complicated. If you want to be a graphic designer, you also need to know about typography, either to design the actual letters or just how to use them, which letters to use for print, which for website. There actually is a difference in the way we read things on different platforms. And when you know all about it, then you can design interesting shapes our students design themes for Huawei phones eco and ecological packaging for some jewelry, jewelry and so on and on. And websites, of course. You know how annoying it is when a website looks the same on the computer and your phone and you cannot click anything on the phone since everything is too small. So we teach you how to make things responsive and how to design things that are user friendly. And did you know that packaging is one of the main marketing media? And did you know that Professor Igor Grabetz, who invented 3D printing and patented three-dimensional laser recorder is a Slovenian? So if you find these questions interesting, the study of graphic arts is a good choice for you. So join, so join us at the Graphic Arts Studies at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. So the least but not least is the study program of textile and fashion design. The concept of the textile and fashion design study based, is based on experience from graduate and postgraduate studies of designing textiles and clothing in the past 25 years and cooperation with foreign higher education institutions, especially those included in the Cumulus Network. These basic directions include parallel studies of designing textiles and clothing, artistic expression, technology, which supports the realization of designer's idea and supports studies consisting of necessary knowledge and skills of computer assist design, the history of textile and fashion design, and marketing 
risk and management. Why study fashion design? We are the leading higher educational institution in the field of textile and fashion design, playing a significant role in contemporary fashion design in Slovenia. And during studies, students acquire a broad range of skills in the fields of fashion, textile and accessorized design, styling, painting, drawing, video, graphic design, visual art theory, history of clothing, photography, and more. And because it is a highly fulfilling career for people with a creative mind and adventurous spirit. And every year, the best student works are presented at many exhibitions, fashion shows, social networks, and latest aquasium of the Department of Textile and Clothing Design online platform, Cotofolio, where you can find the results of the various projects and activities that were carried out as part of the study. The final fashion shows have been held in recent years as part of the Ljubljana Fashion Week. So we had Ljubljana Fashion Week, Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, and so on, or are organized independently by the department. So each student has an opportunity to explore the areas that interest them most during their studies. Is that fashion design, textile design, or costume design? Students often work outside with outside collaborators, such as local communities, cooperatives, artisans, interpreters, art, artisans. A good example is also a collaboration with Huawei, where students had to design in innovative phone cases or collaboration with Slovenian company Rikskral. The entry exam is needed for enrolling in textile and fashion design study. The artistic talent test is conducted in the form of submit, submitting a presentation folder to the student office at the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering by the 30th June 2024 and an interview with the candidate, which is organized on 4th and 5th of July 2024. The test comprises from four parts, drawing and painting, a dress human figure. That's a test of understanding of proportions, composition, anatomy, light and shadows, color and texture, texture. Then you have a fashion design collection, a test of understanding a fashion sketch and visual articulation. The third test is textile design collection, a two-dimensional design test, composition, color, and material. And the fourth is examination of knowledge in the field of fashion and textile design and ability to verbally articulate. So for more information, please uh, check out our website where you will find all the relevant information about the talent test and the enrolling into the study of textile and fashion design. And do you know that Queen Victoria was the first woman to ever wear a white wedding dress? Before that, white was assigned for the color of grieving and Coco Chanel's little black dress, which appeared in 19... Uh, 20, 1926 was compared to the fourth model T car because of its practicality and simplicity. So if you're interested in similar questions and textile and fashion design is your passion, the study of textile and fashion design is the best choice for you. So these are, these were all six study programs of the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. So if you are interested in enrolling in one of our study programs, here is also the information about the application deadlines, which were already presented by our colleague Liliana. 
So uh, for the bachelor and single cycle master degree programs for the candidates of EU member states and Slovenians with Slovenian citizenships, for first application period is from 20th of February to 20th of March, 2024. The second application period is from 21st August to 27th of August. And the application period for still avail available places will be from 25th to 27, uh, 26th of September, 2024. And for the candidates of non-EU EU countries, the third application period is from the 20th of February to till the 19th of April. And the sec second application period is from the 3rd till 4th of September, 2024. For further information, for further useful information, uh, please visit website of the University of Ljubljana study in Slovenia. And here are the contact information of, of the student offices. We have two different student offices. One is for Department of Textile, Graphic Arts and Design. And the other is for geology, geotechnology, mining and environment, and materials and metal metallurgy. And the information international uh, office for which I'm responsible. So we have come to the end of the presentation. Uh, here you also you can find here our. Um, some links to our website, social media, and email addresses. And as you can see, we are a very diverse faculty that is a part of the University of Ljubljana. And maybe our advantage is also that its location, we are located in the center of Ljubljana, where everything is within the walking distance. And maybe some fun fact, uh, if you do not know yet, the Ljubljana was nominated for the best European destination in 2022. So I think this is it from my side. Thank you again. And I hope you will choose the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering and start your new stage of life in Slovenia. So for any additional questions now, I think you should join me in the break room. Yes, thank you so much, okay. Alenka. Uh, okay. Now uh, you can join breakout room of the Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering uh, if you're interested in studying at this faculty. And as I already mentioned, please do not join the rooms of the faculties that have not already presented. Of course, as I previously said, you can always come back to the main room and or switch to another breakout room after each member presentation. And of course, if you're interested in finding uh, out more about another faculty, now we will open all uh, breakout rooms. So now uh, you can join only Faculty of Natural Science and Engineering. And now I would like to ask uh, Veronica from Faculty of Theology to share her screen with us. Uh, Faculty of Theology is one of the five founding faculties of the University of Ljubljana. It has programs in the field of theology, human and inter interpersonal relationships, marital and family studies, ethics. Veronica, the floor is yours. Thank you. We are very glad to present our faculty at this occasion. So there is, a, in a way, one motto that motivates us, which is creativity, courage, also critical thinking and reflecting upon things. Uh, we are also very proud that we offer quite a wide spectrum of knowledges, um, which is, you know, in a way, which centers on knowing oneself and also God. And one thing, which stems from it is really um, closing up or thinking upon our relationships. The Faculty of Theology offers a wide spectrum of three ranges of studies, meaning bachelorate, um, second master uh, degree program, and also doctoral program. 
From the last year or this year, we actually have new bachelor program called Human and Interpersonal Relationships. In this, uh, we will present it further more deeply, but here I just mentioned the different, different types of studies at our faculty. So at this program, um, as a bachelor program, there are actually two models. For those who are interested more in religious and theological studies on one hand, or in marriage and family therapy or in counseling on the other side. Um, as with regard to the um, master degrees programs, there are actually three programs that we offer. First is unique program of theology. The second is religious studies and ethics. Um, and the third is education in theology. Um, these two last one um, are in a way intended also for those who study two deep disciplines with the um, correlation with the faculty of arts. And then we offer also the third program, third cycle program, doctoral program, including theology, uh, marital and family therapy, and also humanities and social sciences. Uh, okay, so the structure of the uh, the study of theology at our faculty um, is as follows on this presentation. So first we have uh, theology, which is our main uh, course of study. It's the most traditional one. Uh, it's uh, it's done in five years. So there is no bachelor's degree. There's no diploma in between. It's five years in total, and then the students write their master's uh, degree. So it's 300 uh, credit points. And it's primarily aimed at uh, religious, those who wish to become priests or religious, but it's also um, meant for lay people. Uh, and then we have uh, theological studies um, that um, this is a bachelor program that uh, lasts for three years. And the, the important part of the studies is that it's combined with a study from uh, with faculty of arts um, which means that it's a double honors uh, program and the students can pick uh, one course or one uh, one study from faculty of arts and then um, uh, our program here so they have to physically combine the two studies and um, uh, but they, they get two degrees from from the studies and then these st uh, students can, um, can uh, start studying in education in theology, which is a master's degree. And it's also double honors, uh, again, with, with, in combination with the Faculty of Arts. Um, uh, it lasts for two years um, and you receive 90 uh, credit points. So half on our faculty and the other half on uh, the Faculty of Arts. Uh, and then we also have, uh, like my colleague already mentioned, we have a very wide spectrum of, of knowledge that we, um, that we share, that we uh, earn on this faculty. So it's, um, it's a very, um, it's very, uh, um, th there's a lot of things uh, that we do here. So we have also theology, religiology and therapy. Um, so the structure of these three is, is as follows. So the new program, Human and Interpersonal Relationships, is a bachelor program, lasted for three years. And um, like we already mentioned, one part is theological and religious studies for three years, and then also marriage and family therapy and counseling. Uh, these two programs have certain um, certain uh, courses together and certain courses are very specific to the to the program itself. So after three years, the students can enroll in the masters, uh, which lasts for two years. Um, and one of them is religiology and ethics, um, and the other one is marital and family studies. Um, and then we also uh, would like to mention a, a special postgraduate training program that lasts for two years. 
uh, and it's called marital and family therapy. The reason we mention this one, we have more postgraduate training programs, but this one is particularly uh, important because um, we are actually the only uh, faculty in the entire uh, country that offers uh, the education to become a, a psychotherapist or a marriage and family counselor. And as you can see, it's done on all three, uh, three cycles, the first cycle, the second cycle, and then this is some type of specialization that you have to do to become an actual therapist. So it's very um, pragmatically oriented. You get a clinical, um, clinical knowledge about how to be a therapist. Um, so it is mentioned here as well. And now, so, and as Veronica mentioned and explained, actually, that's your course that you are taking yes. a part of it. Yes. Um, so I would like to continue with our presentation. Um, so presenting the, the central or the core study at our faculty, which is theology, uh, as mentioned, is a single cycle uh, lasting so for five years. The study includes actually um, just a little bit of everything. So what could be as its centrum would be the knowledge that you get from the Bible and uh, theology within history, but that's not all, because it contains also other types of knowledge um, stemming from history, anthropology, philosophy, and socio sociological um, department, psychology, and also rhetorical sciences. Um, so. This study, as already mentioned, is intended mostly or particularly for those who will uh, receive, so to say, ecclesiastical um, jobs as priests or religious, but there are quite a few or a few students that are really uh, would like to study the theology to the core, if I say so. Um, so in a way, it's, it's um, the basic um, study here, the faculty, um, but it, it in a way includes also other parts of, so you meet also with other students uh, so that you are not just one small bubble enclosure, but you meet with, with all different students from uh, other programs. As already mentioned, this study would be um, intended for priests, future priests, and also religious candidates, but also for all those who would like to deepen their knowledge of their faith, the comprehension of it, uh, in order to maybe to understand it better, but also maybe to help out in in pastoral sphere or on the parishes? Uh, so theological studies, the double honors program on the first cycle. Um, as I already mentioned, this uh, program is uh, meant for students who uh, maybe wish to study at the Faculty of Arts, which is a much bigger faculty. Um, it has a lot of programs and Usually, students uh, at the Faculty of Arts have to uh, have to choose two uh, programs, but this is for students who maybe don't want to study at the Faculty of Arts entirely. So they have one interest, like maybe English language or um, something like that, and then they don't know what else to choose, so they can choose this theological um, course or program. Um, and, and study with, with, uh, with us. So they have to physically go from one faculty to the other, but we are very um, flexible on, on, so we allow students to, to do that um, in, in, a, in an appropriate manner. So it's not a problem for them. Uh, so this is a very interdisciplinary approach and the students can tell from experience that um, it usually, depending on what they have on the Faculty of Arts, uh, it usually goes together with what they study there very well. And it's also very, um, very, a, a bit more personal, a bit more uh, uh, 
or they say it's for their soul. <laughs> so it's very interdisciplinary, um, involving um, a lot of different, uh, uh, a lot of different uh, fields like philosophy, sociology, psychology, and ethics. Um, so the students get acquainted with these uh, with these things, and they can also work um, in in this area. And then we also have the masters, uh, which is kind of a, a the, the, the knowledge that they have, they upgrade it here. Um, something that's worth mentioning is that it's very pedagogic, ped, uh, pedagogically uh, strong, so, so students can um, uh, gain very practical knowledge on how to, how to share this knowledge of, of theology and religion and culture and all of that in a pedagog pedagogical way, so like teachers or, or something like that. Um, again, very interdisciplinary. Um. So um, I will now turn back, so to say, to the almost the first picture that we had, to say some specific words on th this new, brand new program, human and interpersonal relationships. Um, I already mentioned that there are, in a way, two models with common um, courses also. Um, one of this is um, Department of the uh, Theological and Religious Studies. Um, it is the first cycle. Um, however, you gain um, a lot of basic knowledge on already in, in so to say, in first year, um, the students already already learn quite a lot on, on topics coming from Bible, uh, but also from topics uh, deriving directly from theological studies and also other religions. Um, so the, the topics and methods also combine uh, different approaches, so from humanities, social sciences, theology and religion as such. Um, the program would be intended, so to say, for those who would like to work in the fields of church, culture, public or administrative life, um, economy and, and so on. Um, this graduate um, acquire basic knowledge in, in the field of Christianity and other religious beliefs or even cultural historic, historical backgrounds. Um, the study enables you in a way to reflect upon the things theoretically, but also critically, in a way um, how to move across um, different parts of history, um, so to say anthropo anthropological mindsets of, of human being through different parts of human history and development in order to, to get in close better into understanding of the world we are living in. Uh, and then we have the second uh, part of this program, uh, which is marriage and family therapy and counseling. Um, this is really what's new at our faculty because the theology and religious studies was uh, just a bit more uh, upgraded and it already existed before for quite a, quite some time, but this one is um, entirely new and it allows the students to study on, uh, on the first cycle um, already uh, dealing with, uh, with these topics of, of psychotherapy, marital and family therapy and counseling. So it's it's kind of an introduction to all of these concepts. Um, they also have uh, certain uh, certain modules or uh, certain courses on also the more, more, more theological aspects, but primarily um, they deal with um, courses on psychology, psychopathology, psychiatry, assessment, and everything that has to do with uh, becoming eventually becoming a therapist or a counselor. Um, what's really important about this, um, it not, not only is it new, not only is it the only program like this in Slovenia on, on this level, um, it's, uh, it also allows students to have very, very personal, um, it's a very personal type of study where they really reflect on themselves and um, 
they gain personal therapeutic experience, which is very valuable in this profession. Uh, so um, this is uh, this is the human and interpersonal relationships uh, program. So um, as on the master's degree, um, we offer study of, on real religiology and ethics. So um, it is so to say upgrades in the sense on on knowledge on the so to say human ethics in in worldwide atmosphere so to say um, it gives the greatest emphasis on on the topics of religion philosophy and humanity um, so the students get acquainted with the methodology on, on from this fields of reflection, um, going to religious research, but also to ethics. Um, this study enables the students also to work as a pastoral assistants or uh, professional pastoral workers. And then on the second cycle, we also have marital and family therapy, which is a continuation of the first cycle. Um, it's also been uh, taught for, for 20 years, approximately, on other faculty and, or, or less, I'm not sure. Uh, but it's not entirely new. Um, so it, uh, it allows the students to, to deepen their knowledge in, in how to work with people. And it's perhaps a bit more, um, even a bit more practical um, and a bit more rigorous uh, so that the students are fully uh, equipped to become uh, the type of people who can work with many, many different people like children, adolescents, families, and adults. And so the range of work here uh, can be a bit bigger and uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that you do not become a therapist after, after this master's, but you are equipped with, um, with uh, uh, dealing with people in different uh, scenarios, like uh, maybe similar to social work or maybe work with the homeless or, or uh, social services or something like that. And you have a very valuable knowledge that because we understand human beings in a very relational manner, um, we are uh, uh, relationship define us a lot, and so that's really the, the the emphasis on on this program to really understand how human beings really function and why do they function the way they do. Uh, so uh, it's very broad and very um, prepares uh, the students for different kinds of work um, with people. Um, so yeah, we are our faculty is not is not as big as faculty of arts or other uh, faculties. However, this actually enables us to to gain on our relationship so that we know each other maybe even better. So um, and also that we provide or give the opportunities to to meet together also for prayer. Uh, for mass also, um, and a kind of meeting for a whole uh, theological community, if I say so. So including students, but also the people who work or teach here. Um, we are give the opportunity to the students maybe to, to meet each other on different levels. Um, as for example, yesterday evening, uh, we we watch together uh, a movie, so the um, season of the chosen, in order to discuss different um, aspects of the movie as such, uh, both of, meaning on the form but also on the content. Uh, in a way, reflecting upon what 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 are the the elements that we know also from our study, meaning biblical backgrounds, but then what are also anthrop anthropological issues, meaning our relationships that are presented in, in such a movie. Um, and what is also very precious, I would say, 
uh, it's the day of the faculty in, in May, which means it's a kind of day for sports, which includes all the community. Uh, so students and all employees, so to say. And it's really a great meeting um, in a way, not just being or studying together, but really having fun, also playing sports together. Um, so in a way also sharing our lives together. So thank you for your time from both of us. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for uh, your beautiful uh, presentation. Uh, now you can join the breakout room of the Faculty of Theology if you're interested in studying at this faculty. And now um, I will ask uh, Nina Podied to share her screen with us. She is from the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology. Uh, this faculty has the basic applied and development uh, research in the fields of chemistry, biochemistry, uh, chemical engineering, and technical safety, while striving for excellence and the highest level of quality. So as I said, with us today is Nina Podied. So please, Nina, uh, share your presentation with us. The floor is yours. I would like to welcome you all to the presentation of Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology, University of Ljubljana. My name is Nina Podiet, and I'm a teaching assistant here at the faculty. Today, I would like to introduce our faculty and our study programs. But first, I would like to show you this picture of our new building, let's say, which we moved into approximately 10 years ago. But the chemistry studies at the faculty uh, of the University of Ljubljana started more than 100 years ago. And first, I would like to invite to invite you to watch a short video um, of our faculty so that you will get some kind of virtual guide to the faculty and maybe feel some of its vibe. Uh, Nina, uh -huh. okay, it's good. The Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology is a member of the University of Ljubljana, which is the largest and oldest Slovenian university. We are located in a new building at the address 113 Vechnapod as part of the emerging university complex near the Technological Park. Our immediate neighbors are the Faculty of Computer and Information Science and the Biotechnical Faculty. study programs in chemistry, biochemistry, chemical engineering, chemical technology, technical safety, and chemical education. One of our key guidelines is to foster the excellence of teaching and research staff. Research Infrastructure Centers Network at the University of Ljubljana includes the Infrastructure Center of the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology, which provides support for research in chemistry, biochemistry, pharmacy, chemical technology, and chemical engineering. Faculty collaborates with industry, research institutes, foreign universities, 
and the Career Guidance Center of the University of Ljubljana. Each year, during University Week, the Faculty Student Council presents accolades to staff members who are voted best teachers by the students. In addition to a varied and high-quality range of teaching and research pursuits, the faculty is the site of lively extracurricular activities. Join us at the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology. Okay, so let's continue with some numbers. At the faculty, we have 24 lecture halls and more than 150 research laboratories, large library, and of course, we should not forget about the restaurant. There are currently around 200 employees and around 1,500 1, students. Our faculty is divided into chairs that are written here on the screen, but this is maybe not something that is really relevant for you at the moment. But why would you choose chemistry? Chemistry is all around us, even though this is not something that we are thinking about in our everyday life. But chemistry is on, in our technology, in medicines, it improves our health, it protects us from the sun, it purifies the water that we are drinking, it cleans our air that we are breathing, and so on. So the better we know chemistry, the better we know our world. But why study at our faculty, Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology? You will gain a lot of fundamental knowledge in all the fields of chemistry, biochemistry, chemical engineering, technical safety, or chemical technology. Of course, depending on the program that you choose. But besides that, besides theoretical knowledge, you will gain a lot of hands-on experience because we have a lot of practical courses. So you will be equipped with the practical skills to work individually or part of a team in some laboratory. Um, and of course, you will gain some fundamental or basic knowledge in the informatics or com uh, computers, because this is something that we cannot imagine our everyday life. And also, uh, computing is really a part of research work. And lastly, you will develop some general skills that are not uh, just important in the field of work, but also in your everyday lives, such as writing, presenting, problem solving, and so on. So we offer study programs at the bachelor level. We have university level and professional level bachelor programs, master programs, and also a PhD program. So let's dive in. The first cycle study programs are divided into a Bachelor of Science programs and Bachelor of Applied Science program. So Bachelor of Science programs are chemistry, biochemistry, chemical engineering, and technical safety. Uh, and the one Bachelor of Applied Science program, it's called chemical technology. Three of our programs are internationally certified. Program chemistry has a Euro bachelor certificate and the programs chemical engineering and chemical technology are listed in the FEANI index, which just means that these programs are aligned with European recommendations in the terms of scope, content, and also implementation methods. Now I would like to introduce each one of these programs. And I will start with the program chemistry. This is a natural science that studies matter, its composition, structure, properties, and also changes of matter, all with the aim of understanding and use of different materials. So if you choose the program chemistry, you will gain some fundamental knowledge in all the major areas of chemistry which are organic, 
inorganic, analytical, and physical chemistry. And of course, as I already mentioned, a lot of practical skills for the work in the laboratory, because we offer a lot of practical courses during the first cycle of study. The next Bachelor of Science program is biochemistry. This basically represents link between chemistry and biology. So biochemists are most interested in biologically important molecules. So these are the molecules that are found in the living organisms. So their structure, composition, synthesis, degradation, and also the roles that these molecules play in natural life cycles and also in various diseases. So we could say that biochemistry is really important for understanding of life. Uh, and though the research of biochemists can then be applied to different fields, such as medicine, pharmacy, biotechnology, and so on. So as a biochemist, you would gain fundamental knowledge in all the major fields of biochemistry, such as biomedicine, biotechnology, genetics, and molecular biology. And of course, I should not forget about the practical skills for the work in biochemistry laboratory. We're moving on to chemical engineering. That is a fundamental technical discipline. Uh, so it's a very interdisciplinary study. It combines mathematics, chemistry, physics, and also biology. Uh, so as you finish this study, you're becoming a chemical engineer, you will be dealing with uh, planning and managing the production processes, optimizing processes, developing new products and materials, and also you will be addressing some global environmental issues. As I already said, it's really interdisciplinary study, so it combines a lot of scientific and also technical knowledge. And the last of our Bachelor of Science program is technical safety. This technical safety is becoming more and more important in the quality and reliability of production processes, uh, mainly dealing with risk assessment and their control. So safety engineers are becoming an essential element of almost every production process. They're mainly dealing with work environment. Uh, this is safety at work or health of employees. We can also call this occupational safety. The next one is process safety, fire safety, and also environmental protection. What is unique about this study program, technical safety, is that you will gain knowledge about all these four elements of safety in just one study program. If you study this abroad, there are most likely different study programs just for fire safety, another one for safety at work, and so on. But at, at our faculty, this is combined into the program technical safety. Now we're moving on to some general information about the Bachelor of Science programs. They all last three years. In the first year, there is a lot of general natural science courses, including mathematics, physics, and also general chemistry. But in the higher years, in the second and third years, uh, courses are becoming more program specific. So it's really important which program you choose because you will have really different courses. And in the last year, so in the third year of your study, you will be doing a lot of experimental work in the laboratory for your bachelor thesis, or as we call it in Slovenian language, diploma. So altogether, about 10% of courses are elective, meaning that you can really dive into the specific area that interests you. And also we offer one Bachelor of Applied Science program. It's called Chemical Technology. It's basically an education about applied industrial chemistry. Uh, so the chemical technology deals with some modern industrial chemical processes for 
and economical, safe, and also environmentally friendly conversion of some raw materials into useful products. Um, again, this uh, program is interdisciplinary. And uh, when you finish this program, what you will be doing, you would be helping plan and execute different processes, develop new products, then have some uh, say in the choice of materials and equipment, do analysis of materials and products, maybe do some quality control or um, operate various instruments or something like this. So here, the emphasis is more on the practical courses for practical training, some of which is included in the experimental work for your bachelor thesis. This program also lasts three years. But the main difference, I would say, is that if you want to continue with the second cycle of education, you would need to pass some additional exams. So keep in mind this if you want to choose this program. Uh, to my information, most of you are interested in the bachelor study programs. Uh, so I will just briefly mention that our faculty offers also second cycle study programs. So Master of Science study programs, the same as before, we have chemistry, biochemistry, chemical engineering, and technical safety. So this is just a continuation of more advanced courses. And most students that end with the first cycle, they are continuing with the second cycle study. Uh, but we have additional program called chemical education. Again, I would like to note that the programs chemistry and chemical engineering are internationally certified. So chemistry has Euromaster certificate and chemical engineering is listed in the FANI index. What may be of interest to you is the Erasmus Mundus joint master degree program. There are two available at the moment, materials for energy storage and conversion and chemoinformatics. This means that you would study up to four countries. So just a part of your study would be done at our faculty and other parts at different faculties or universities. Some general information about the Master of Science study programs. They all last two years and about 40% of time is dedicated to the individual research work for your master thesis. Of course, this is done under the supervision of your supervisor. Um, and about 20% of courses are elective, um, so more than in the first cycle of study. Um, so you really get to um, explore more the areas that you are specifically interested in. I mentioned chemical education. This is the education of teachers of chemistry in high schools. And most students enroll this program in parallel with another program. That's usually from our faculty. And now the third cycle study programs, doctoral study programs at the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology, we offer chemical sciences. When you end this program, you will be awarded the highest title Doctor of Science. But our faculty is also participating in some interdisciplinary programs that are happening at different faculties, biomedicine, environmental protection, biosciences, and the last material science and engineering. But besides teaching, research work is an extremely important part of our everyday life at the faculty. We're conducting basic research and also applied research where we are often collaborating with some industrial partners. So that means that students can also participate in this research, um, mostly when they are working for their bachelor or master thesis. Of course, under the supervision of their supervisor, uh, this means that they can basically get in contact with some industrial partners. This is maybe also important for the future employment. Uh, here are written a few numbers. I will just shortly mention that we are uh, right now, we are, uh, there are more than 30 international and national research projects. 
Then in 2022, more than 200 scientific papers were published. Uh, and in the last 10 years, more than 68,000 citations uh, on our uh, papers. And in the last five years, 14 patents were approved. And of course, this could not be done without our state-of-the-art research equipment, some of which is part of the Center for Research Infrastructure. I will just mention a few of them, instrument for nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, mass spectrometer, X-ray diffractometer, different HPLCs, mass spectrometer, a scanning electron microscope, and so on. What about employment possibilities after graduation? I would say there are quite a few of them. Um, they were conducting research about the most sought after professions in the next five to 10 years. And professions from the field of chemistry and material science were amongst the top five most sought professions. So there is a lot of possibilities. You could employ in a large industry, for example, chemical, pharmaceutical, or basically any other that has any deal with chemistry, or maybe in a smaller scale companies. You could also pursue academic career, which means that you would be employed at universities or research institutes, um, or you could work in healthcare, in diagnostic laboratories, or in different agencies, environmental, forensics, and so on. You could become marketing specialists dealing with different chemistry products, and the list goes on and on. What about student life? Um, of course, we should not forget about that. I would like to mention student council and student organization. So student council is basically a link between students and faculty members, and they always have student rights in mind when they are representing students in faculty bodies. They're also in charge of tutoring, which I will present in the next slide. And then we have student organization, which collaborates with the student council and is basically in charge of the more fun extracurricular activities that are going on at the faculty. Maybe this is some extra education, maybe this is sport, culture, tourism, and so on. And here I have also the names of social media platforms, Facebook and Instagram, and Gmail accounts. So if you have any questions, you can just address them to uh, directly and they will be welcome to respond. Or if you just want to see what activities are going on uh, or just to check the vibe, you are welcome to do so. As I promised, tutoring basically is a systematic guidance of students throughout their time at the faculty, but this is mostly in the first year of study. We have two different tutors, teacher tutors. Um, these are, of course, teachers that are employed at the faculty. They can help you with uh, questions that you have about study programs or career choices. And we also have student tutors those are the students from higher years of your study program that can help you with more informal questions about your everyday student life. What's maybe interesting to you, we have also student tutors for foreign students and student tutors for Erasmus exchange students. Again, you're welcome to go to our tutoring website. Um, we have a QR code here and also uh, Facebook and Gmail names. So what other activities are there going on at the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology? Every year, there is a summer school of chemical sciences, chemical science days, and we have employment fair, welcome reception for first year students. Then we have researchers night, a lot of um, different championships in different sports and the list goes on. We're also really proud of the Cutting Edge International Scientific Conference that is now traditionally going on at our faculty every two years. And it gives opportunity to students to present their research work 
that they did uh, for their bachelor or master thesis. And also organize the organizers, they always organize lectures of different specialists from all around the world. Um, now I need to tell you something about the timeline for the bachelor programs. So for candidates of European Union member states and Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship, application process has already begun and is now lasting until 20th of March, 2024. For candidates of non-EU countries, application can be done till 19th of April, 2024. So be mindful of these dates um, that you don't miss your application deadlines. You can also type into Google application deadlines, University of Ljubljana, and you will get to this web page where you have all the information about the important dates that you should not miss. There is also an email. Um, if you have any questions about the admission process, you should um, direct them and they will gladly answer you. As you already seen, this is our University of Ljubljana web page where you have all the information about the application deadlines, about the application process, about the different possibilities, welcome guides, and so on. And if you have any questions, or if you need any more information about our faculty, you can just search a Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology, University of Ljubljana, and you will find a lot of more information um, that I could say just in a short presentation. Uh, maybe you can write down this email if you have any specific questions about your case um, for the admission process or any administration questions, and they will be they will be welcome to answer you. Now, before we go on to questions, I would like to thank you for your attention. I would like to wish you good luck at your studies and that you would choose the program that would suit you the most. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this beautiful presentation. Now you can join the, join the breakout room of the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Technology if you are interested in studying at this faculty and if you have any question for Nina. I would like to ask our International Student Ambassador, Christian, to explain us what activities International Student Ambassadors have and how they can help you, future students. Thank you, Liliana. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, for anyone that uh, is now joining us. So I'm Christian. I'm International Student, um, student Ambassador. And I'm um, with other 14 uh, International Students Ambassadors, uh, helping different students with any doubts that may have and answering uh, different questions. So if you have any questions regarding your um, let's say admissions, if you have any questions regarding how it is to be a student abroad, if you have any questions uh, when you come here in Slovenia and you don't know where to turn to, or you would like to just hang out and ask uh, personal questions about um, life in Slovenia, we, the student uh, ambassadors, are here to help you and tutor you and guide you through the whole process and provide you some um, guidance uh, throughout the whole process. Uh, we are in a way a first stop uh, on the way to Slovenia. So um, for anyone that uh, would like to consult about everything, we are here to help. Um, also, uh, we, uh, we have made videos um, that you can find online on our uh, study at University of Ljubljana webpage. Uh, for different topics uh, regarding uh, admissions process, regarding uh, uh, how to apply and everything uh, that you might uh, be interested in for also for career development activities um, and uh, different topics and they're published on YouTube. So go check them out and uh, wait for other videos as well in the future. Um, also, uh, when it comes the time for you to come to Slovenia, there uh, you would have to apply for student uh, temporary residence permit. 
and uh, we are the students ambassador here to help you with the document so check everything if it's okay if you have every document that is needed or if you miss any documents to tell you what uh, you have to get before applying for student visa um, and throughout the year um, we are always uh, available uh, via email or maybe if you find our contacts or if we share our contacts with you uh, for example instagram or different platforms it doesn't matter uh, we are simply chatting and uh, answering your questions. So, yeah, um, if you have anything, you can ask me or the other uh, ambassadors after this presentation, and um, I'm happy to answer all uh, the questions and inquiries that you may have. Thank you so much, Christian. And uh, now, um, as I already mentioned, Faculty of Pharmacy, the Faculty of Pharmacy is the only university organization in the Republic of Slovenia for the study of pharmacy and laboratory biomedicine. And with us today is Professor Dr. Mojca Kereckos. And I ask you please to share with us your presentation. Okay, yeah. then warm welcome from the Faculty of Pharmacy. Uh, I'm professor at the Faculty of Pharmacy and coordinator of our main program. This is the study program Pharmacy. Uh, our faculty has more than 60 year tradition and beside education and teaching excellence, we are very proud of our research that we perform mostly in the field of pharmacy and clinical biomedicine. Uh, in the research project, we cooperate with many Slovenian and foreign companies, um, industry, faculties, research institutes. And our aim is to transfer the knowledge to the economy and the wider society. Uh, into the research work, we try to involve students as much as possible. Uh, we are also incorporated into international community. We have some visiting professors uh, from abroad, as well as international students from all over the world. Um, at the moment, we are situated in the center of Ljubljana, but we hope that next year we will start the construction works for the new faculty building that we'll have in Burdo University campus. Here I'm showing you some photos how our new faculty should look like in the next three, four years. Um, with the new faculty, we will get better conditions for study and research for the students and as well as for the employees. Uh, we also, um, we should also get some new modern technically advanced laboratories, which will enable even better um, research work. Um, our faculty uh, has over 1,500 students at all levels of study. We have six different programs that are listed here, and I will go through them in more details later. Uh, we have three um, university study programs, two master study programs, and one doctoral study program. And with approximately 200 employees, we are one of the largest faculties uh, of the pharmacy in Europe. Uh, we are also the only faculty uh, that um, where you can study pharmacy and laboratory biomedicine in Slovenia. So why would you study at our faculty? Because we have access to the state-of-the-art equipment and facilities. Uh, we have close links with the pharmaceutical industry. And uh, we are also internationally recognized academic as well as research institution. Um, all our study programs include lectures as well as laboratory courses. There is quite a lot of study program in the form of laboratory courses. Um, the, this laboratory practice is mandatory, uh, while the lectures, they are not mandatory, but they are highly recommended. Um, the lectures and laboratory courses are not necessary uh, every day, so you can combine both of them and still have um, some free time. Um, 
If I start with our largest program, this is the Uniform Master Study Program of Pharmacy. Uh, the study program uh, has five years, 10 semester, and this means 300 ECTS credits. We enroll 180 students this year, or in October, we will increase the number from 165 to 180. And there is also one place for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship and one place for foreigners uh, of non-EU countries. At the end of the study, you are awarded the title Magister, Magistra Pharmacie, which is the Master of Pharmacy. Um, for the application deadlines, I think you already heard it in this general represent presentation from the University of uh, Ljubljana, but maybe just to state them one more. For the citizens of Slovenia and EU members, it's from 20 February to 20 March, while for non-EU countries, it's from 20 February till 19th of um, April. Um, the students, the graduates that finish the study program pharmacy, they can either work in pharmacy services. This means the community pharmacies, as well as pharmacy in hospital. In hospital pharmacy, the field of clinical pharmacy is developed more and more in the recent years. Uh, I don't know how you're familiar with this clinical pharmacy. This is special specialization within a pharmacy service where pharmacists work in clo close cooperation with medical doctors and the, their main aim is to optimize pharmacotherapy of individual patient. Um, our graduates can also work in pharmaceutical industry in different fields from design and synthesis of the drugs to develop um, different dosage form, manufacturing uh, of the drug, registration, and then uh, marketing. Um, in this and next year, uh, huge investments are planned in Slovene pharmaceutical industry. So we expect uh, many uh, new working places available. Uh, the graduates of the pharmacy study program can also work in different uh, laboratories, um, research institutes, or they can continue their studies at doctoral level. Um, the study program pharmacy has four uh, different fields of knowledge. One is from the natural science. This is especially in the first year, you have chemistry, biology, physics, mathematics. Then you have some um, subjects connected to medical sciences, anatomy, pathophysiology, micro microbiology, and so on, so that you understand the disease and the processes that occur in our body. Um, then we have technological engineering um, knowledge because we have to design the dosage form and manufacture the drugs. And at the end, um, the drug has to be given to the patient in appropriate manner. So we also have patient-oriented knowledge as well as clinical pharmacy, social pharmacy. You also have a half year of the training, practical training in the uh, pharmacy. This is in the fifth year. Students in the third or, and four, fourth year of the study uh, can also choose the elective courses. We have over 20 of them, and students normally choose them depending uh, on their employment uh, preferences, if they are more interested in uh, pharmacy services or pharmaceutical industry. Um, then our next uh, program is University Study Program of Laboratory Biomedicine. This is three years study. Uh, so the first cycle, six semester, and in this program, we enroll uh, 50 students and also one uh, with non-EU countries. 
uh, at the end of the study, you are awarded the title Diplomirani Engineer Laboratoriske Biomedicina. This is the Bachelor of Engineering in Laboratory um, Biomedicine. Um, in this program, students learn the basic medical knowledge, which enable them to understand the processes that occur in the body during the disease at the molecular level and the principle of diagnostic procedures uh, to, to diagnose these changes. The graduates of this program mostly work in medical laboratories, which can be either in the healthcare centers or in the hospitals. Uh, but in recent year, graduates from laboratory biomedicine in Slovenia also work quite a lot of in research institutes as well as in the pharmaceutical um, industry. Um, when you finish this university study program of laboratory biomedicine, you can continue the master study program in the same field. The master study program um, is two year program for semester. And in this program, we enroll 40 students. Also, there is a place for non citizens of non EU countries. And at the end, the graduates are awarded the title Magister of uh, Laboratoriske Biomedicina, which is the Master of Laboratory Biomedicine. So what's the main difference between the university and the master study program? That after you finish the master study program, uh, you are more more skilled also to independently solve some problems that can occur in routine practice, or you can introduce new diagnostic procedure into the clinical practice. And um, at this study program, students also get more knowledge about the research work, leadership, and management. Um, then our next program is the program of cosmetology. This is also the university study program, so the first cycle. This study program uh, has three years of study, uh, 180 ECTS credits, and in this program we enroll 40 students. At the end, you get the title Diplomirani Cosmetolog, which means the Bachelor of Cosmetology. Um, the graduates of this study program, um, they cover the field of development, manufacturing, evaluation, regulation, marketing, as well as consulting of cosmetic products. So this program is focused on cosmetic frog programs from the development to the marketing and consulting. Um, the graduates, find their jobs in cosmetic industry, in different regulation inspection services, as well as research institute. From the program of cosmet cosmetology, you can um, also uh, go to this uh, master study program of laboratory biomedicine, or you can continue in the master study program of industrial pharmacy. So this is the next one that I would like you to present. Um, this program we have in Slovenian as well as in English language version. Uh, Slovenian language version is available since 208. But in this uh, school year, uh, in October, we started the English language version. Um, so this master study program, it's two years program. So this is the second cycle. It has four semesters of lecture and laboratory practice. And in this program, we enroll 440 students. Um, what's special also in this program is that in English version, there is a possibility of hybrid mode, which means that you can attend the lectures either um, at the faculty or you can be um, you can attend them by Zoom. 
uh, while only laboratory practice you have to be for the practice you have to be present at the faculty. Um, at the end, you get the title Magister Magistrica Industriske Pharmacia, so the Master of Industrial Pharmacy. Um, in this program, we uh, familiarize students from the complete drug development process. So this program is focused in drug development process. So the students do not only um, get the overview of the basic concepts in industrial pharmacy, they also get advanced knowledge in pharmaceutical science, such as quality by um, design. Um, we also teach our students some essential transferable skills as analytical problem solving, teamwork management, and so on. So um, this program equips students for career in pharmaceutical industry, as well as life science um, sector. How does this program look like? So as I said, this is two year study program. And as you can see from the subject that are listed here, um, you have the lectures for free semester and they are all focused more or less in pharmaceutical industry. So pharmaceutical technology, pharmaceutical chemistry, stability of, of the drugs, nanotechnology, analytics, and so on. Um, in the last, so the, in the fourth semester, there are no lecture. Uh, student just prefer the research project to prefer the master thesis. Uh, where the students that finish the industrial pharmacy can work, they can work in different fields within industrial pharmacy from drug discovery, production, quality control and assurance till the regulatory affairs and management. The main difference between industrial pharmacy and our uniform study program pharmacy is that with the industrial pharmacy, you cannot work in pharmacy service. So not in community and hospital pharmacy. So this one is just focused in, um, in industrial part. Um, who can attend the um, industrial pharmacy master's program? Uh, anyone who finished the first cycle study program from either biochemistry, biology, biotechnology, chemistry, chemical engineering, laboratory medicine, cosmetology, microbiology, and food uh, science. Uh, what is important that you should provide a certificate of English language skill because the program takes place um, in English or you can join this one available place in um, Slowin program. Um, the same as for our study program, also for industrial pharmacy, you can apply through the electronic online system. So EVS online portal, uh, application de deadlines are a little bit different. So this is the 1st of June and uh, at the end of August. Um, the course course fee for this industrial pharmacy in English is uh, written here is 7,500 euros per academic year. And uh, for this industrial pharmacy in English, if you are interested in this program and if you would like to get more information, please contact Isidor Sosic, which is coordinator of this study program. Um, all our students uh, can also attend the third cycle program. This is doctoral study program, biomedicine. This doctoral study program has four years. And in this program, we are all 40 students. Um, you can study, you can do the doctoral, um, doctoral dissertation in three scientific fields. This is the pharmacy toxicology or clinical biochemistry and laboratory biomedicine. Uh, I would not go into the details with this doctoral study, but if you want this uh, website, you can get more information uh, about this study program. Um, at our faculty, there are 
quite many international students. They come from deep, different programs. Most of them are on Erasmus exchange. Uh, we also have students that come from CEPUS program. Um, and then we have also IPSF traineeship. This is International Pharmaceutical Students for Federation. And this last um, practices are a little bit shorter from one to two uh, months. Um, so altogether, the number of incoming students at our faculty per year is from uh, 90 to 130. So if you decide to come at our faculty, you're for sure not be the only one that's not uh, from Slovenia. Um, that's all from my presentation. I just intended to give you some basics. If you will have any further um, questions, you can use any of the contacts that's written here, either the student office um, in these two emails, or you can either contact our vice dean for international relationship or um, vice dean for education, and they will provide you uh, with the further information. Uh, I hope that at least some of you will decide to come at our faculty and that we will meet in October. And now for any further um, questions, uh, I'm available for you in the breakout room and with me is also Urban Jernejic who will provide you with, maybe with some more uh, information regarding how to apply and so on. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. Uh, as uh, Professor Dr. Moisa said, now you can join the breakout room of the Faculty of Pharmacy if you want to ask some additional question regarding studying at this faculty. And now, uh, Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport. The Faculty of Maritime Tra Studies and Transport offers degree programs on all degree levels and carries out research in the field of transport log logistic, logistics, sorry, maritime studies, traffic safety, and traffic engineering. With us today is uh, Tamara Pukšić, so please uh, share with us uh, some of your presentation. Hello, everyone. Hello, future students. I'm Marina Zane, the Vice Dean for the Academic Affairs of the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport. It is my great pleasure to have the opportunity to give you some information about our faculty. I'll try to keep it short within the given time frame of 30 minutes. So on this slide we can see our motto and our motto is knowledge is the beacon that never goes out. A little bit of history, beacons were introduced back in the Roman Empire to help seafarers come back safely from the navigation. Uh, the beacons show them where the land was. So it is with the, it is with the knowledge it's similar. At our faculty, we will provide you the knowledge which will safely guide you through your professional career. Of course, you will develop it over time. But at the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport, you will give enough knowledge, a very good basis, to be able to confidently start your professional career. On this slide, you can see our website. And on the picture, you can see our main building. And maybe you can see by the sea, also the small building, the new one. So I mentioned the sea. We are located at the sea. Uh, we are the only faculty of the University of Ljubljana, which is actually not located in Ljubljana. Portoroš is located on the Slovenian coast, coastline, uh, some 130 kilometers away from the capital city of Slovenia, Ljubljana. It is located on the shores of the North Adriatic between Italy and Croatia. Portoroj is located in one of the most beautiful bays of the Slovenian coastline. It's actually the largest summer touristic location in Slovenia. Um, it's located very close to the city of Piran, to the ancient city of Piran, uh, which has a long history, but it's currently most known as the birthplace of the famous composer Giuseppe Tartini. The location of the sea 
actually provides certain benefits uh, like better climate, uh, nice places, uh, but also some disadvantages for our students. Uh, but we, we, you will see later on that uh, our faculty is helping the students to overcome this advantage, this, this, these advantages. Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport was established in 1960 uh, and joined the University of Ljubljana in 1995. Uh, so we have a long tradition. Currently we have two departments. One is the Maritime Department and the other is Traffic Technology Department. And we have 12 chairs uh, to assure the, the interdisciplinarity of the studies. We usually have around 470 students per year and around 70 graduates per year. Uh, we usually have from 12 to 13 percent of foreign students um, who usually by the end of their studies integrate well with the Slovenian students. Uh, currently the faculty employs around 40 academic staff and around 20 supportive staff members. Also we have around uh, 30 professors employed on contract to provide the best possible teaching experience to our students. All our academic staff members are also active in research. We are participating in conferences, we are regularly publishing our works so in this way, uh, we also our teaching process includes all current topics, topics in the field. As I said, we are active. Uh, we have um, research group, and the professors are active in the research group. Uh, and this in, uh, research group is involved in several uh, European projects and also national projects. Uh, we also do market-oriented projects and students can be involved in any of these projects, but there are also a special group of projects which are directly aiming to improve students' involvement in research works. So these are the student projects, and uh, in 2023 we have 15 uh, such projects directly being based, for the being based on the students' work and having the tutor among the professors. Uh, the faculty also provides uh, courses for the seafarers and we do expertises and other things. Uh, the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport uh, provides four first cycle uh, study programs. One is academic degree program, the other three are professional or if we take a different division we can say that we have we offer two study programs at the maritime department dealing with the education of seafarers but not limited limiting their careers only to the sea they are very employable also in land professions uh, these are nautical studies and marine engineering and at the department of traffic technology we offer studies of transport and logistics both at the, the academic level and professional level uh, as you can see on the table uh, we don't have any single cycle master degree prog program, but we do have two master program programs, one in uh, general transport and the other in maritime field. Uh, we also have one own doctoral program dealing with maritime transport and transport and logistics in general, and we participate in one joint doctoral program on environmental studies. Mm, offering this many study programs means that we are offering a lot of courses, uh, currently we are offering more than 160 courses, among which around 60 are available also in English language, but this is meant for Erasmus students. Of course, international regular students can join these courses, There is no, not, this is not a problem, but our study programs are accredited in Slovene language and not in English language. A short introduction uh, to our study programs. I will start with the only academic degree uh, first cycle program. This is program is called Traffic Technology and Logistics. Uh, this program is one of its kind at the University of Ljubljana and it's the only program that deals with uh, deals in detail with all transport modes. Uh, the program is professionally and si scientifically oriented and we have plenty of uh, guest lectures from business sector. Uh, so, what is the specific uh, characteristic of this program? 
uh, in comparison to other uh, to, to other programs that we offer. So on this program, uh, the student get a lot of theoretical knowledge, uh, which is supported by real cases from business environment. Uh, so. Uh, the te theory is backed up or explained by the real cases, which is always very good. Uh, in addition, uh, courses on such on such courses like the courses on informatics, statistics, operational research, and similar, give give the students also the tools to do certain analysis. Um, and also, there is uh, some direct uh, research work included especially for better students who want to try uh, to try the challenges of working in the project uh, teams the projects which i have men uh, mentioned before um, so anyhow at the end of at the end the students gain gain the good basis for further studies at our faculty or any other faculties our students often continue their studies also at the second cycle uh, or master degree program at the School of Business of University of Ljubljana, for example. Uh, another study program that we offer is the professional degree program on traffic technology and transport logistics. Uh, the duration is of three years. Um, since two years ago, we offer uh, also military module. Uh, however, this is meant only for Slovene citizens and it's not that much interesting for you. Uh, in the last year of this study program, the students can select courses which fit best their preferences. Uh, also in the last semester, there is a mandatory practice in the real business environment, which is a good opportunity to meet, uh, to meet maybe the future employee. Uh, students from these two programs usually get their employment even before, uh, before graduating, either through the mandatory practice, which is present in this study program, or upon demand from the business uh, environment, and I must admit that we, that we are getting um, for, uh, that, that we are getting demand from from business environment on daily basis, practically when the market is is good. On the short Slovenian coastline, uh, there was uh, there was also room for the port of copper, which is actually the most important generator uh, for the jobs uh, in the region in the area, in this sh uh, s coastline area. Uh, currently around 200 students of our students, graduates from our faculty, are working in the port of Copper, uh, but many more uh, work is found in the shipping agencies and freight forwarding, forwarding companies. Uh, so, in fact, um, the information from two weeks ago, uh, only in this region, so the coastal region of Slovenia, there are more than 100 vacancies uh, for um, this profession, profile of professionals, so shipping agents and freight forwarding uh, employees. Then we have uh, two professional degrees at, at the dealing with the maritime studies. One is nautical studies, the other is marine engineering. Um, why we have this? Uh, because we want to educate seafarers. Uh, actually currently around 1.7 million seafarers are moving around 11 billion tons of various types of cargo per year. Uh, this 1.7 million seafarers is divided into th two groups. One are the ratings which are the lower classified seafarers and the others are officers and we are educating our students to become the officers. Uh, we are very proud to educate them at our faculty and we actually educate them under the International Convention on Standards of uh, Training, Certification and Watchkeeping. Uh, so uh, this means that our graduates can be employed on any merchant ship around the world. Uh, because our education system is comparable to any uh, education system at any faculty uh, that uh, educates seafarers around the world. Um, actually, there are uh, two main kinds of officers aboard the ships. 
uh, one are deck officers, so these are uh, these are educated under the nautical studies, and the other are engine officers. Uh, within nautical studies, as I said, we educate deck officers. These are future captains, masters, uh, that will have the competencies to safely uh, to safely load and navigate the ships around the globe. Uh, for these students, we have extremely sophisticated training centers, uh, and also we have, a, as can be seen on this picture, we have also physical uh, equipment at the sea. Uh, however, once graduated, the students are not limited to spend their entire career on the, on the sea. They are employable in many land-based jobs. Uh, similarly, uh, we educate marine engineering, so these are the engine officers, uh, future engine officers. Um, uh, besides, uh, be, besides complying with the, uh, with the convention that I mentioned previously, so International Convention on Standards for Training, Certification and Watchkeeping, this uh, study program also uh, complies, complies to the uh, regulations of the European Engineering Federation, um, which makes it, uh, which makes uh, the the graduates widely employable. The emphasis of this study program is on theoretical and practical competence to manage, operate, and maintain shipboard mechanical, but also industrial power system. So all power systems uh, can be managed by graduates from this study program. On the, on the our uh, website you can uh, check uh, all of the mentioned uh, study programs under the um, chapter study and then you have first cycle, second cycle, third cycle and once you click on the uh, study programs program of your interest uh, you can see all the details uh, about that study program. Uh, as mentioned before, this uh, our faculty is offering uh, studies not only for Slovene students but also to international students. Some international students come at the ex as exchange students to Slovenia, while others come as regular students. So this is this presentation is meant for regular international students uh, and we have some information also for them provided on our website. Regarding the uh, regular international students uh, or regular students in general, uh, we have places of course for Slovene students, we have places for European uh, Union students, but we also have places for the non-European Union students and for Slovenian without Slovenian citizenships. Uh, so on this table we can see uh, the numbers for all the all the programs of this first cycle. So for the uh, academic uh, academic degree program, traffic technology and logistics, we offer five places for non-European citizens and one for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship. For the uh, professional degree programs for the traffic technology and transport logistics, which is the study program uh, which has uh, the largest number of students at our faculty, we offer 11 places for non-European citizens and one place for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship. Uh, at the navigation or nautical studies, actually it's the correct uh, title of the study program, we offer nine places for non-European citizens and one for Slovenians without Slovenian ship is citizenship. And at the marine engineering, we offer five places for non-European citizens and one place for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenship. However, at this moment, we do not have any accredited program in English language. Uh, this means that also foreign students will have to, to follow the lectures in Slovene language uh, but as you will see later on, the faculty helps these students to overcome uh, the language barrier as soon as possible. Uh, as mentioned also before, we have uh, two 
uh, master degree program, uh, programs. One is in transport and the other is uh, the maritime. Mm, so, um, uh, so uh, the idea behind both programs is to upgrade and to deepen the knowledge that the students have obtained at the first cycle program. Uh, I'll do this two programs are also open to the graduates, graduates of any other faculty, either in Slovenia or outside Slovenia, um, after completing uh, three differential exams. Uh, in the first cycle, the students are given the knowledge to be good operational staff, let's say, um, but the master degree uh, knowledge is aiming uh, to help graduates better understand the complexity and the complex world of the contemporary transport system and apply research methods and data to provide solution to complex program if they select transport. On the other hand, if they select maritime master degree, they will develop critical thinking and reflection skills related to contemporary pro problems in the field of transport studies, maritime technologies and processes, exploitation of maritime infrastructure and safety of maritime transport, while at the same time considering the protection of maritime environment. Uh, anyhow, after completing uh, these study programs, any of these two study programs, the students will be ready for managerial positions. Um, so they will be the ones who, who will be giving the instructions and the ones who will, uh, who will be providing the solutions of the perce perceived problems. Master degree programs will give them the knowledge and the skills to be able to, to take the managerial positions. Uh, it holds for both programs, uh, master degree programs, that the students will be, let's say, equipped for the problem solving through, through an interdisciplinary approach and thinking. They will see the transport and they will see the maritime business or maritime industry for different perspectives and they should be able to to link and connect the knowledge from different aspects on transport uh, and maritime studies ma maritime industry uh, into into solutions um, also for uh, these two study programs we offer places uh, for uh, uh, for foreign students, so in the maritime studies we offer six places uh, for non-European citizens and six places for Slovenians without uh, Slovenian citizenships and uh, citizenship and we offer eight places for non-European citizens at the transport uh, program and eight places for Slovenians without Slovenian citizenships also for this transport program. Again be careful, we don't have any accredited program in English language, so the language, so learning the language, uh, it will be very important. Uh, for this reason, University of Ljubljana is offering the program, uh, the course, the program which is called Year Plus, uh, or Let to Plus. Uh, this is intended for international students in their first study year. Uh, the University of Ljubljana, either as bachelor or master degree, uh, in master degree program with no prior knowledge of Slovenian language. Uh, participating at the course not only eases the adap adoption to Slovenian, Slovenian and Slovenian language, uh, but also allows students to advance with less strict requirements into the second year of their study programs and also some other benefits. Uh, as I said before, we are located in Portorož and being located in the Portorož have many bef benefits. Uh, the place is nice, the climate is better than in the rest of Slovenia, but we are dislocated from Ljubljana and our students cannot benefit from many offers uh, of the University of Ljubljana and among these offers is also uh, the year plus or letter plus, uh, so the students usually cannot join it, the course in Ljubljana because they have lectures in, in Portorož. Mm, le regular le lectures, of course, for the study programs which they have selected. Uh, however, given the fact that it is crucial to learn the language as soon as possible in order to be 
a good and satisfied student and also good profession, future professional. Uh, the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport is organizing a copy of the course in Portoroz. All the benefits from Leto Plus still remain to all those students who completed the course in Portoroz. So this means that lower number of credit points needed to advance to the second year is still possible also for our students. Or for example, the possibility to have an extra year of student status with all benefits related to this. So the course, which is paid by the faculty, uh, is allowing all the benefits of the course Leto Plus, which is organized by uh, University of Ljubljana. Um, okay, here we have, s on this slide we can see some pictures of for relaxed students. Actually, uh, being a student, it's not only about studying. Uh, in fact, it should be the best time of your life at the faculty, and the faculty supports many sport activities like sailing, sailing and rowing uh, so these are location specific activities but we also have basketball, futsal and some other sports also the students organization is lately very active and they organize different kind of events uh, I don't know, s recently they have s had some stand up performances they organize also some trips and other kind, kinds of events uh, a couple of words on accommodation, uh, so the exclusive location, the Slovenian coastline is very short, it has only 46 kilometers and as mentioned before, Porto Rouge is located in one of the best and beautiful bays and it's a touristic uh, location, uh, so this exclusive location uh, often means also higher accommodation prices uh, but it is possible to attain uh, the position in the two nearby uh, dormitories uh, with prices per person ra uh, ranging from 130 to, uh, to 160 euro per month depending on the type of the room and some services uh, which can be selected um, and also accommodation can be found in uh, one of the many private accommodation accommodations who offer uh, good prices uh, uh, of the season. Um, also there are some subventions uh, and at the end it's also possible to to get the room uh, in proximity of the faculty. So uh, we are approaching approaching the end. Uh, to, to, to conclude, uh, maybe to summarize why study at the Faculty of Maritime Studies and Transport. Um, if you are interested in sea career, we are actually the only faculty in Slovenia uh, who is providing such kind of education. We are using state-of-the-art equipment um, during our education processes. We have very expensive, very sophistic sophisticated simulators. We have equipment at the sea. Uh, on the other hand, if you decide to study uh, in the field of transport and logistics, there are some newcomers on the market, uh, but we are the only faculty at the University of Ljubljana who provides the, this kind of knowledge. Uh, and University of Ljubljana is the oldest university in Slovenia, it's the biggest one, it's also the best rated university in Slovenia. So, the diploma from the University of Ljubljana is opening the doors much easier than other diplomas. Uh, we are building our tradition since one, uh, since uh, 1960, so we have more than 16, 60 years of tradition and we are upgrading the knowledge and skills practically every day. All professors, we are all actively participating at the conferences, I said before, we are publishing our work, uh, so we keep in touch with all the novelties in the field. field. Also, the uh, didactic part is not neglected and we are regularly taking courses to improve our skills in transferring knowledge uh, to the students. Uh, we have good relations with many uh, related faculties, uh, so with many faculties which are offering similar study programs, we have bilateral agreements with them, and our students are taking one or two semesters abroad, and we are also having uh, some incoming students to our faculty. Study programs are interesting for the business environment. Uh, 
the, the business sector is also participating in the development of our study programs so our students are very employable our graduates are very employable and as I said earlier uh, our, uh, uh, our students often get their em first employment even before graduating. Uh, to end up the story with almost the same slide as we began with uh, if you are interested interested in the fields of transport, logistics and seafaring then grab your spot on our boat, on our faculty. Uh, the fact is that transport and logistics are evolving and growing fields. Um, transport is the key driver of social and economic development and actually everything around us is related to transport in some way. Uh, we take the transport for granted but it's not but it's not. Uh, we have to manage it, we have to improve it in order to make it more optimal and less source consuming. Uh, so this is what we teach our students here to do and uh, the knowledge that you get at our faculty uh, will actually remain your power for forever. Um, if you have or any questions or if you need any information about the faculty do not hesitate to contact to contact, contact our students office so this is the first uh, email which is given in uh, in this uh, slide it's from our faculty any other information can be attained through university offices as listed on this slide so whatever uh, uh, is not clear for you or whatever you would like to know more about you can uh, use the links and the emails which are provided on this slide. And the last slide, um, the final slide, uh, this one is the reminder on what might be important for you uh, and you can listen to because uh, majority of these things are online. So the first one is our presentation. Uh, then in the 1st of March you have uh, the session on questions and answers for the admission procedure procedure for the first cycle foreign students first March at 2 p.m. then in the April on 10th of April uh, then there will be the discussion on the possibilities for master and doctoral uh, studies April 10th at 2 p.m. and those events will be online I have provided here the QR codes uh, which uh, directly link you to the registration form and for those uh, students uh, who are interested in master and doctoral studies at our faculty we will have uh, the information days day on uh, May the 30th uh, 2024 at 5 p.m. for master studies and at 6 p.m. for doctoral studies uh, we will have we will provide some more information uh, through our website so please uh, follow uh, or check our website from time to time uh, to see any news about this this event if you are interested in master or doctoral studies in Slovenia the faculty of maritime studies and transport this is all for me thank you for your attention and do not hesitate to contact us Thank you uh, so much, Tamara. Uh, I would like to thank you for your patience and attention. Uh, we wish you all the best in your studies and career and personal development. And of course, we hope to see you in Ljubljana in October. Bye.